Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Leslie, and I like to share all things that I love. And in this current season, it happens to be handbags and housewares, although I haven't shared any of that on my channel. But if you'd like to see more of my ramblings and unboxings and my very strong opinions on things, please do subscribe below. And if you like this video as you get through it, please do give it a like. Anyhow, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I am here with the Battle of the Crescent Bags. Um, in particular, nylon crescent bags. However, I do have a an honorable mention, which is not quite so honorable because this is a leather bag and a very different price point. But nonetheless, she will be featured on here and we'll have her own video. So this is the Clairve Grand Fanny Pack and I love this one. So, but in front, if any of you have had any exposure to Bagu, then you'll know. I guess it's pretty obvious with the little smiley package, but I must have been living under a rock because I had no idea about this brand. I know, crazy, but um, I never ran across it. I'm not on TikTok. Um, I'm really predominantly on Instagram, and even now I'm as I've shared in other videos, in order to curb my temptations, I'm not on there, but here we are. I ran across this on YouTube, and so nonetheless, the YouTube figured out a way to, uh, the YouTube, did I say the YouTube? The algorithm figured out a way to tempt me, and here we are. So I have been curating my collection quite a bit, and I realized that I kind of had a hole and I kind of gave away another bag that's going to be featured here shortly to my mother-in-law because she saw it and I was like, here, take it, because I was like, I can get another one. But I saw this one, and this is the medium nylon crescent bag in the color cocoa. And I d decided on the medium just because, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to feel like things look larger on video than they end up being in person. But this is the medium. And I was worried that the medium might be too big, but it's actually a pretty good size. So here she is. I did kind of open this, so this is not a true reveal, but kind of see the branding on there. And right off the bat, I mean, I guess you could wear it this way. I mean, this strap is gonna hang down. I'm not gonna take this apart, and the reason for that is I think I'm gonna send this one back. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna uh, join the hashtags on the back, but my hashtag that I kind of created, or maybe it's been around, but um, I don't love the color. Some people love this color, but I don't know. See, against my skin tone, I don't know, I don't love it. It's too, I'm being really like trying to avoid the word, but it looks like a nipple color. I don't know, forgive me guys, but that's my raw like opinion. As soon as I saw it, I was like, no, this is not quite the color. I mean, against my carpet here, like I have some mauves and pinks in my area rug and in my room here, but it's too, it's too, I don't know, it's not cocoa. It's more like the Hershey powder color. That's probably the best. Man, I wish I had brought that and thought about that, but I suppose it, it's that kind of, I was thinking like hot cocoa. Anyhow, what I will say though, for my ASMR lovers, <laughs> um, what I will say is it does feel really nice and substantial. The zipper, let's see. Oh, that does feel quite smooth. And it does seem to fit. I think it'll fit quite a lot. And you have an inner zipper pocket here. And another inner zipper pocket here. So Bagu medium nylon crescent bag, a stylish crescent shaped purse for daily wear. Recycled nylon, machine wash, line dry, ethically made in China. So you can kind of look at the website. I always like to see 
what a company is about. Um, I don't have, I mean, I suppose I do have strong opinions. Like I love when things are ethically sourced and made and um, recycled. I love, I mean, I'm a, I love shopping at consignment shops. I love selling my clothing to consignment shops. Resale is definitely the way to go. But I, I do also buy brand new just because I'm OCD and I, I do really like to take care of my things. But this is one of those bags that I was hoping would be a toss around, a beater. And <laughs> some of my friends, my, my handbag friends will laugh because goodness, this year with the totes and the taupe bags, uh, this, this was unfortunately not a win for me. You kind of see it against the black and I intentionally this is my little basket that I kind of store things I had all these other crescent bags in here so anyhow this is the bagu so and what I'm gonna do is I will share kind of what you can fit inside just because it is quite a spacious bag so I'm trying to empty out my Clairve but in here we have wallet this is the uh, LV Rosalie coin purse uh, battery charger backup battery charger because I'm always forgetting to charge my phone here is my little carry pouch with pads a nail clipper um, goodness I'm drawing a blank this is to clean sunglasses uh, triple antibiotic treatment some band-aids and I have I know I have a pair of tweezers in there but that's what I carry in this and then my favorite little mini wipes and I have this little chapstick holder thing I mostly put it in because I'm paranoid that this is gonna leak one day so I'm not taking my chances I'm not wearing, oh my god, oh, I am wearing a wedding band, but I'm not even wearing my Apple Watch. Look at that beautiful farmer's tan. Uh, so anyway, that goes in there. AirPods. My Grand Lips Hydrating Lip, lip Plumper. My pen. That does close quite firmly. My sunnies, let's see, I forget what pair is in here. These are my gentle monsters. I believe these are the her, yep. I love these sunglasses. Future review coming on these. This is my little um, sunglass pouch from Susie and Ray. She's, you can find her on Etsy. That definitely fits in there. This is my little dress up your purse key pouch. And my mints and my other medicines that I put in here. So if I close her up with room to spare, I could probably put a book in here. I'm sure I could fit a lot. And now that I've actually put stuff in here, <laughs> I'm kind of having doubts sending her back because I think it's just the color but I actually like the way this tag can um, hang on the side and of course I I may or may not put mod shots you guys I don't want to open this up because I, I I think that I got it wrong with the color but if I do of course I'll put them in on the side but really, you could fit a, uh, fit a book in there. I'm pretty certain I probably should have grabbed my daughter's Kindle. I promise I'm going to get better at these. I promise. But I see why. I kind of like that little slouch there. Isn't that cute? So you could wear this crossbody. You can wear it as a shoulder carry. Um, I just think it's a very versatile piece. You could put a little, the new trend of putting a chain or something. That's not my thing. I feel like... I'm gonna look like a kid but I feel like my area rug is definitely kind of helping showcase the color but those are my first impressions on it now that I have it packed up I'm kind of like hmm 
do I change the color or do I give this one a try because this I believe is $50 somewhere around the $50 range I got a like first time subscriber coupon thing and gosh I'm really impressed by like I really like how it slouches and I just feel like on those days that I don't want to worry about like it's raining again because it rains a ton here in South Carolina it's a really good bag so this is the medium and really quickly I'm going to share with you a couple others that I purchased so a very close competitor is Uniqlo and they make a crescent bag that went pretty viral as well so I thought that it would be good to compare because this really only comes in one size I it actually has there's now a new size but that's a video <laughs> a separate video that I'll be sharing on my Uniqlo I'm gonna call it haul but this one really the black one is the only one for me and this is why I got the medium size in this bag because as you can see as I put them like if I set this in front the Uniqlo is definitely smaller and I'd say the nylon feels a little bit softer to the touch it feels nicer and it does fit quite a bit so despite the size feeling and looking smaller yeah it's definitely significantly smaller but I personally like and why I opted to get the Uniqlo um, I did this for you guys <laughs> and for out of my own curiosity but I like the pleating detail here I just feel like it makes it a little bit more um, I don't know it adds a little touch of femininity and makes it look a little nicer just because I don't I have to be very careful when I'm pulling off a more casual vibe I mean obviously when you're in yoga pants and a t-shirt whatever but I really needed a sling bag to serve the purpose of being a beater bag something that I'm not gonna stress out about because I'm a stressor and um, so now that I got this out raw first uh, first impressions I think that I'm gonna return the bagu just because it's too casual and I I think some girls like the way they style that is super cute but that is if I kept this a I would be going against my own rules of you know go with your first impressions like I know now right away if something is right for me uh, and you know like this is you guys it's a sling bag like it's not that serious but it does need to be love at first sight in some ways for me other than the fact that I know this just this is a practical purchase so I wanted to at least show you and compare but now I think it wouldn't be a fair comparison if that I didn't take everything that was in here and put it in here so let's see now this one has two little pockets and this one comes in at $20. It's smaller, and again, I do think that this nylon is a little bit thicker, but this is no slouch. And for this price, uh, and again, this is the Woman Round Mini Shoulder Bag with from Uniqlo, I really feel like this is probably the proper size for me. I mean, maybe on my body frame, the Uniqlo is the proper size, but what I mean is I don't, I don't need all this space. I really don't. I might change my mind if I decide I want to put a diaper in there, but again, so the dress up your purse pouch, my Rosalie coin purse, backup battery charger, whoops, sorry, mini wipes, chapstick, that's the Naturium. Vito Glow Lip Balm in Spice. I forgot to show you guys that. I love that color. Vitamins and mints. AirPods. Pen and lip plumper. Is that everything? It's empty. So this is definitely fuller, but as you can see, I fit everything I need. This is everything that I carry. I actually liked that with the bagu, this kind of 
hangs to the side and I kind of like that. But this, it just looks clean. It looks simple. There's no fuss. And generally speaking, I kind of need and like a more tailored look on me. Um, so my decision is made. This one's the keeper. I am keeping the Uniqlo bag. It fits enough and I even still have space. Like honestly, I could take this out. I usually wear my sunny. So even if I took this out for the purpose of fitting a diaper and baby wipes in here, I'm set. And I could probably, because this is only $20 or $19.90, I could get a few other colors, but I'm trying to be a good girl and not purchase things in multiple colors, despite how much I love it. So again, let me kind of set these by each other. And this is the bag, the Crescent bag that I was in. And this is the, again, the Clairve Grand Fanny in the rattan. So as you can see, it's got holes in it. So it really is a true rattan woven leather. And oh, oh my goodness. I forgot one thing. How could I forget that? I would never not bring this with me. So, um, so these two are very similar in size, but you get a little bit more width. So hopefully that's helpful. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to just pull her out, but I thought this would be helpful. So stay tuned. I will have a video about this. I love this fanny pack. There's one major con to it for me, but I'll share in another video. However, I think between these two, my mind is made up. I am going to keep the Uniqlo. And yes, maybe I'll pick it up in another color if I feel like, okay, I don't want to just have it in black, maybe like in a taupe. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Uh, but for those of you who need to carry more, this is only going back because I don't need to. I really don't. I already have the Clairve and this. Um, and I don't need this size. This would be great if you are a commuter and you don't really need to take a laptop with you, but you want to make sure you have plenty of space. Like you definitely could fit an umbrella and everything else. Like everything that I just put in here, you could put in here plus an umbrella, plus a Kindle, plus a book. Uh, iPad mini would for sure fit. It's a great, great size. So I would say it's worthwhile sizing up to the medium in the bagu bag and then if you want something smaller go for something different and try the uniqlo all right i have rambled enough i hope that you guys <laughs> have found this video helpful and uh, again if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section and i will see you in the next video bye